hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning into this video so today i'm going somewhere I'm, I'm actually on my way out and i want you guys to come with uh i'm actually going to the new chinese mall and i just want to confirm if the prices are really as cheap as uh, the trend implies or it's otherwise so there are a few things i needed from kamukunji but since the chinese mall has just been launched I want to go check, confirm if the prices are actually cheaper than Kamukunji or Isili or any other big market here in Nairobi. And then, in case I get to buy anything, I'm going to do the haul with you guys later on in the evening when I'm back. So, let's get going. So, the China City is located at Unicity Mall. And um, the main stage to get to it is the KU stage. So this is the entrance of the China Square Mall. And I got in there, it was already full. Actually, I got there by around 9 a.m. and it was already full of people. And the first item I got on my shopping cart was this mini fan. I mean, I have been looking for this item for the longest period and I finally found it and it was here on China Square. I got mine for 380 something shillings, 380 shillings actually. And there is a variety of uh, the mini fans. You, there are some ranging from 300 to 1000 bob, depending on the size. Yeah, so there is something for everyone actually. So some of these prices were quite exciting and I got to buy a few stuff. You're going to see a quick haul at the end of this video. So stick around, find out uh, what I bought and uh, the pricing of everything that I bought. So this Chinese square is a little bit of Isili, a little bit of Kamukunji, a little bit of stage mattress everything under one roof and i'm telling you guys it's so big and the prices are just so exciting you have to be here to see them so water bottles at 165 shillings they have firefighting equipment from as low as 250 shillings so don't let uh, traffic police stop you for not having them in your car or city council ascaris for not having them in your salons or other business premises just go and get one So guys, at this point, uh, I'm not going to talk much. I'll just let you, you know, take the tour with me. And then let's meet at the end of this video where I'm going to do a quick haul of some items that I bought and their pricing. And then I'm also going to give a review. Was it cheap? <laughs>
Hey guys, so I want to do a quick haul of the things I bought yesterday. I'm actually shooting this the morning after since yesterday. I got home so late and I was so tired. I could not do anything. I could not do the haul yesterday. But let me just show you a quick haul. I have the receipts here, so I'm going to be telling you the prices. And um, the first thing I got, let me say, is this spray paint. It's golden because I want to do a DIY. And I also got this ashtray for the DIY. So this was 140 and this was 260. Also got this mini fan. It's chargeable. Doesn't use a battery. Comes with a cable and a stand. So this was this was 380 bob. I got these two washing basins. One was 250 shillings and they are so strong. They're actually very good quality and I'm going to use them 
as my mixing bowls uh, if I want to mix maybe some dough or maybe marinate something this is what I'm going to be using I got this storage basket one was going for 110 shillings this is how they look so I got three of them and they have white and gray also got this baking set it's a decorating icing bag and some nozzles I got these two stainless steel straws this is long and this is short also got this vacuum flask let me just show you inside how it looks like so this is it it says coffee so um, I'm going to be using this for my coffee to go and this was 900 bob it's so pretty and it's stainless steel in the inside yeah I got this measuring cups and these ones are going for 240 bob to 40 I got this silicone brush. Brush was going for 160 shillings. I got this silicone uh, spatula and it was going for 180 bob. I got this oven glove. It was going for 280 bob. I got this scrapper uh, you know when you bake a cake and you want to decorate along the sides this is what you use so this is a scrapper and I got it for 80 bob also got these measuring spoons they were going for 120 bob And also got this staining card used for bakery also just to stain you know you can decorate your cake with it i got these cable ties for my office and they are going for 85 bob i also got this masking tape for my office also and it was 140 bob I got these uh, trash bags and they are going for 200 bob. There are 20 of them inside. And then I got these lip liners, two of them. One is brown and one is uh, almost maroon. Each of them was 80 shillings. Also got this glitter eyeshadow and they were 180 bob. And then I got these rubber bands. This one's also 80 shillings. I got this garden tool for 180 bob. Um, I also got this pruning shear for 250 bob. Yeah. So that's all. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I also got this bow tie. It was 240 bob. Now, as for the pricing and the cost of items, I will say that the Chinese square is truly cheaper. It's cheaper than most. And um, they have done their homework well. They know how to price the items. Uh, according to you know the the market in Kenya right now is so bad and they have done their homework so they know what they are doing actually 
and um, most of the items are of good quality in fact i saw a lot of wholesalers buying items so i'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of the items from chinese square in the market out there now it's all up to you to go out there and confirm the cheaper review for yourself because i've also done it i've done my due diligence i've done my homework and i think they're cheaper they're cheaper on most of the items and some of their other items are just regular priced yeah so i've come to the end of this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye